You may not have heard of something called the Trusted News Initiative, but you should know about it. It's a major tool of information control in the United States. It's a partnership of several big news outlets, the AP, Reuters, the Washington Post, aligned with big tech companies like Facebook and Google. The BBC founded it. Now, the group has admitted its mission is to stop, quote, the tidal wave of unchecked reporting that's being piped through mainly digital platforms. In other words, we have a monopoly on telling lies. No one else can talk. And in service of that goal, the initiative has censored an awful lot of people, including Robert F. Kennedy Jr., whom history will vindicate completely. Now, Kennedy and several other plaintiffs are suing the Trusted News Initiative. We asked these news organizations about the lawsuit. Reuters says they haven't seen the lawsuit, but they're very upset by it. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is chairman and chief litigation counsel of Children's Health Defense, and we are honored to have him join us tonight. Bobby, thanks so much for coming up. Tell us what this suit seeks to do, if you don't mind. Thank you for Tucker. Uh, well, you and I know that from the Twitter files and that other information that's being released that the White House and other government agencies were colluding with the social media sites and with other news organizations to censor criticism of government policies. This is something different. The Trusted News Initiative was a secretive cartel that involved the big legacy media companies that you mentioned, the Associated Press, Reuters, the Washington Post, and the BBC, and also the social media platforms, Microsoft, Google, Facebook, and Twitter. And it was an agreement that had two purposes. One was to suppress and censor any information, whether true or not, that departed from official government orthodoxies and government proclamations. I think probably the more motivating uh, uh, purpose of the cartel was revealed in one of the memos that we have obtained from BBC, which is to destroy their uh, rivals in the independent media. The, the BBC memo says to the other groups, and it was BBC, which is a government, a British government owned news network. And it was the one that orchestrated this, this secret uh, collaboration, anti-competitive collaboration. And what they said is, although we are ostensibly all rivals and competitors with each other, the existential threat to all of our business models comes from thousands of independent news sites who are now not only providing all this content that people are reading, but they're also diminishing trust in our organizations. And the way that we can destroy them, they called stamp them out and choke them in this memo, they use those phrases, is to deny them platforms on the social media sites. Because those, those platforms, they, you know, the, vi the, the viral movement of these news stories is critical for the business models of those smaller news providers. So what they said is anybody who departs from the official, from the trusted news, which is the official government narratives of WHO, CDC, and the White House, and Anthony Fauci, and NIH, we will make sure to identify them and to make sure that they are not given a platform. And I, again, Tucker, this had nothing to do with whether the, the statements were inaccurate. They used the word misinformation, and they acknowledge this throughout as a euphemism for any statement that departs from official government orthodoxies. So that's the, that's the point right there. They were censoring things that were true, and that's when you cross into criminal propaganda, in my opinion, and we're rooting for you in this lawsuit and otherwise tonight. Robert F. Kennedy, Jr., thank you. Good to see you. Thank you very much, Doctor. We'll be right back.